Good morning, my dear friends, and I am Dr. Neha Bhatia, and today I will discuss on how to multiply any number with series of one. By series of one, I mean numbers of the form double one, triple one, four times one, and so on. So, let us start on how to discuss the numbers and how to multiply them with 11. First case, multiplication with 11. Suppose we have to multiply 45 into 11. So, what are we going to do? Just write these numbers in this form. Put one zero over here and one zero over here. Okay? The number of digits in 11 are 2. So, we are going to put one zero in the right side and one zero in the left side. How are we going to do? First step is 5, 0 plus 5, 5. Then 5 plus 4 is 9. Then 4 plus 0 is 4. So, answer is 495. We are going to start from right and we are going to move till 2. And we are going to add the numbers in the combination of 2 because 11 is a 2 digit number. Okay. Let us take another example, say 32 into 11. So, this is 32, 11, put zeros over here, 1 into, basically 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3, first 0 plus 2, 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 0, 3. So, answer is 352. Now, next question comes that what happens if one of the number exceeds? Let us say 68 into 11. So, again writing this in this form, putting here zeros. First is 0 plus 8, 8. 8 plus 6 is 14, the middle part and right side is 6 plus 0 is 6. Now, this requires balancing. So, with the help of balancing rule, the answer is 8, 4 will come as it is, 1 will be carried forward and this will become 748. So, answer is 748. Let us take one more example, say of a 3 digit number, say 323 into 11. So, 3 23 into 11, put 1 0 over here and 1 0 over here. Now, and take the sum in the combination of 2, 0 plus 3, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 2 plus 3, 5 and 3 plus 0, 3. So, answer is 3, 5, 5, 3. Let us take another example. Say 4, 7, 8, 9 into double 1. So, 4, 7, 8, 9 into 11. Put 1, 0 over here and 1, 0 over here. And start adding in the combination of 2. 0 plus 9, 9. 9 plus 8, 17. 8 plus 7, 15. 7 plus 4, 11. 4 plus 0, 4. So, now applying the balancing rule, we will get 9. 7 as it is, 1 is carry forward, 1 plus 5, 6. 1 is carry forward again, 2. 1 plus 4 is 5. So, the answer is 5, 2, 6, 7, 9. So, in this manner, we can multiply any number of digits with 
11. Let us now come to multiplication of a number with triple 1. Multiplication with triple 1. Now, what are we going to do is instead of placing 110 in left and right side, we are going to place 2 2 zeros. Let us see how. For example, if we have to multiply 45 into triple 1, so what are we going to do is 45 triple 1, 1 0 over here and 1 0 over here and 2, sorry, 2 zeros in both the sides and we are going to add the numbers in the combination of 3, 0 0 5, 5, 0 5 4, 9, 5 4 0, 9, 4 0 0 4. So, answer is 4 double 9 5. Let us consider a 3 digit number say 367 into triple 1. Now 367 triple 1 can be written in this form. Put 2 zeros over here and 2 zeros over here and we are going to add the numbers in the combination of 3. 7, 0, 7, 6, 13, 7, 6, 3, 16, 6, 3, 0, 9, 3, 0, 0, 3. Now, next is the balancing rule. 7, 3 will come as it is. 1 will be carried forward. So, 1 plus 6 will become 7. 1 will be carried forward. So, 1 plus 9 will become 10, 0 I am going to write here and I am going to carry 1 over here and this will become 3 plus 1, 4. So, the answer is 4, 0, 7, 3, 7. Let us take a 4 digit number, say 4, 6, 3, 4 into triple 1. 4, 6, 3, 4 into triple 1 and putting 2 zeros on both the sides. And now I am going to add in the combination of 3, 0 plus 4, 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4, 0 plus 4 plus 3 is 7, 4 plus 3 plus 6 is 13, 3 plus 6 plus 4 is again 13. 6 plus 4 plus 0 is 10 and 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. So, now comes the balancing rule. 4 will come as it is, 7 will come as it is, 3, 1 will be carried forward, it will become 4, 1 will be again carried forward, so it will become 1 plus 0, 1 and 1 will be carried forward, so this will become 5. So, in this manner we can multiply any number of any number of any number of digits with triple 1. Let us see the case with double 1, double 1. Multiplication with double 1, double 1. So, now the number of zeros that we are going to put on both the sides of the number are triple zero. For example, we have 53 into double one, double one. Okay. So, we are going to put triple zero over here and triple zero over here. And we are going to add in the combination of four. Let us see how. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. Then 0 plus 0 plus 3 plus 5 is 8. Then 3 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 8 again. Then first I have considered this. 
then this ok, then this and now 1, 1, 2, 3 and next is this. So, again comes a comes an 8 ok and then last is 5. So, answer is 5 triple 8 3 ok. Let us take a 3 digit number now say 362 into double 1 double 1. So, 362 double 1 into double 1 double 1 putting here 3 zeros on both the side. Now, triple 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. Then 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 6 is 8. Then 0 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 is 11. Then 6 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 9. Then 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. Now, we apply the balancing rule. 2 will come as it is, 8 will come as it is, 1 as it is, the other one will be carried forward and it will become 10, 0 we are going to put over here and 1 will be carried forward and so this will become 3 plus 1, 4 and this is the answer. Let us take a 4 digit number now, say 4982 into double 1 double 1. So, 4982 into double 1 double 1, put here 3 zeros on both the sides, ok and add the numbers in the combination of 4. So, this is 2, then this will become 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 8 which is 10. Next is 0 plus 2 plus 8 plus 9 which is 19. Next is 2 plus 8 plus 9 plus 4 which is 23. Next is 8 plus 9 plus 4 plus 0 which is 21. Next is 9 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 which is 13 and last is 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 4. Next comes the balancing rule, 2 will come here as it is, 0 will also come here as it is, 1 will be carried forward and will become 10, 1 will be added here which is 2 and it will be carried forward which is 5. 2 will be carried forward, it will become 3. Here also 2 will be carried forward, it will become 5 and 1 will be carried forward, it will become 5. So, this is the answer. Okay, now let us take a 5 digit number and, multi and we are going to multiply it with double 1, double 1. So, we are going to write this number 57682 into double 1, double 1. We are going to put here 3 zeros on both the side and then we are going to add the numbers in the combination of 4. See, 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 8 is 10. Then 0 plus 2 plus 8 plus 6 is 16. Next 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 is 23. Next is 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 which is 8 plus 7 15 plus 5 20 26. Next is 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 0 is 18. Next is 7 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 12 and last is 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. Now, we have to further solve this with the help of balancing rule. So, 2 will come here as it is, 0 will come here as it is, 1 will be carried forward 
So, this will become 6 plus 1 which is 7, 1 will be carried forward, this will become 1 plus 3, 4, 2 will be carried forward and this will become 2 plus 6, 8, 2 will be carried forward and this will become 10 and 1 will come from here and 1 will be further added. So, 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 2, 4 and 1 will be added to 5 and this will become 6. So, the answer is 6, 4, 0, 8, 4, 7, 0, 2. So, with the help of this technique, we can multiply now any number with triple 1, triple 1. And the same procedure can be followed for multiplying any number with double 1, triple 1, 4 times 1, 5 times 1 and so on. I hope this method is clear to you and will be useful for you in long run. Thank you.